Can you turn pumpkin pie into alcohol? Uh. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, so before we get too far down this process, we need to make sure that this is actually going to ferment. We're gonna do that with a viability test. We're gonna take a small sample. We're gonna add some yeast, some water, and give those uh, little yeasty bastards an opportunity to ferment and give us ethanol. For those that are unfamiliar with the proper terminology, it is pumpkin pay. Good Lord, this is a robust pay. Uh, oh, pumpkin pay. You can edit this, right? <laughs> I'll fill it up most of the way. This is the turbo yeast. It's very sturdy. Don't need much. It got broken up. All right. All right. <laughs> I think I got it. That's exactly what we want. If this ferments, which I have every reason to believe that it will, we'll start to get a lot of bubbling action here. The yeast is gonna start giving us some carbon dioxide and this is gonna be floating up and doing stuff, things you'll see. Time lapse, hey! Yeah, yeah! Did somebody order pay? Oh, snap! We have all the pay. In the car seat? All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pay. Oh, these pans are kind of heavy. Uh oh. Oh shit, that is the leaning tower of pain. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to taste. The viability test! Yes. So, in the viability test, what are we looking for? We are looking to see if the ingredient ferments. And hopefully, there's no preservatives to block that process. We want the yeast to direct, take those sugars and turn them into ethanol. Yeah. It looks like it fermented. It looks horrible that most things okay, do. Okay, but it smells really good. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. 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 It smells really good. And then also it's got that yeastiness to it. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's subtle in this one. Yeah, I think that turned out just splendid. Go ahead and taste it. Okay. Me first? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, oh. Oh. That's good. Cool. Yeah, you try. Yeah. No, I believe you. Let's go ahead and scale it up. Well, let's, let's have you try it. So, yeah, let's have you try it. <laughs> well, it's redundant. We just have two people doing the same thing. It... <laughs> you got so much. <laughs> the thing that obviously was not pumpkin pie or yeast. Mm. That very, very tangy. It's very yeah. sour. Yeah. So I think one more, so if you can just. No, just I don't want it. Right there, no. right there, just. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's chewy. It's so chewy, oh. it's so bad. It's like if a Keebler elf had a dirty asshole. <laughs> <laughs> we need to prep the ingredients. So we're gonna take these giant pies and we have to squish them up. Blender is no go. No, too small, It'll take too long. I think he's making that up. Like his beady little eyes, they didn't blink. A natural explanation, he would have blinked at least one and a half times. Yeah. But. Where did he go? Brianna, we have to get four pies. You, you get four in your bucket, I'll get four in my bucket. Okay. And the goal is to make it as smooth as possible. I think I just go pie all in and then just blend it in the water. Yeah. That, that would actually That's how you do it. Yeah, I think Kyle's a liar. <laughs> 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 If we find out that this wasn't necessary and he is in fact screwing with this, yes. I think we found our volunteer. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> I got paint in my ink. <laughs> what? Did you hear what? that? Coming! Oh! Yep. Oh, yes! So, My expertise is needed. It's a meeting? Yep. John, we're here for a meeting. Where are you going, John? John, where are you going? John! John! You need to meet with this, John! John. Hello, it's me, Hair Lister. The gents always seem to want to know, how do you manage to pull so much tail? It's not magic. It's manscaped. Expecto my lord. Whether you bed with Dumbledore, 
or a common whore. Use code Whiskey Tribe in the Manscaped store. I already gave it to my mate Ron to mow his lawn. Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer makes him extra long. Poor Hermione can stop being so white. The Weed Whacker stopped Ron's nose from being so slimy. I gave it to Ginny. Her bush was never so skinny. And your nose trimmer made her lobes match her ninny. Don't put it on your gear when you're drunk on butterbeer. But the ultra premium deodorant is an excellent thing to use when girls are near. And even that wretched snake, even he can have a respectable snake. With the Body Wash Ultra Premium, he's in good shape. Always come prepared to ignite her goblet of fire. Viver Ball Spray Toner will keep the ladies inspired. But be careful, gents. It won't get rid of those Hogwarts. But the anti-chafing boxers will keep your package unshorn. With Manscaped, you'll find there's already a wizard in your pants. So it's time to stop being hairy and start being hotter. Okay, so Kyle, he's gonna uh, finish off our pies here and he's doing it a totally different method. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna blend the rest of them up, put it in here, we're gonna put some yeast in there, let it ferment for a couple of days, put it through the stale and boots. So Corey from Shed Logic, not only did he create Huck Hogan, look at this freaking pie launcher. Somebody has to take a pie to the face. You have to. Obviously. Yeah. No! <laughs> Rock, Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, one, two, three, go! go. Ooh. Oh, what? Whoa. Shoot! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's real dangerous, by the way. <laughs> go ahead and hit the other button. <laughs> Gotta grab that and pull it out. Oh man. A lot of uncertainties happening here. One, two. Oh no! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness, that was Wait, awesome. I did learn something after this first shot. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get hit in the face with it. <laughs> Damn, dude. It could have been your face. Could have. Could have. <laughs> two, one. Shed Logic YouTube channel. Check out the full build on his YouTube channel. Do it. The link's in the description down below. All right, ready to smell it? What does it smell like? Whoa, look at that. Oh, it actually doesn't smell that bad. Like, you know when cheese in a can, it's yeah. like that? It looks like oh, that. Oh, like a cheese whiz type of But thing? if you had like a, like a, it almost smells fruity-ish. Oh, it smells kind of like uh, a really artificial banana pudding cup? Banana cornbread. Ooh. Ooh, it's very foamy. Did you notice there's another layer? So there's the top foamy stuff, and then the liquid right here, then I'm not sure what's going on down here. So what do you think the chances are that one of us will have a pie to the face before the end of this episode? Oh, like 100%. Oh. It has to happen. Ah! Oh, you're, dri ah, you're dripping. You're, Where? Get, get your hand back. Ah, ah. Mother. <laughs> I really appreciate you being on the channel. Is bringing a lot of enjoyment and fun. I mean, the fact that you're just here oh. participating and experiencing this with me is so good. Don't. God damn it. <laughs> well, might as well try it, right? Uh, oh, yeah. No, nope. that's bad. If I had to summarize it into a noise, it'd mm -hmm. be like. Yeah. I just realized one? what this smells like. Yes. I think latex glove. Yeah. Yeah. But like if you were handling salami. <laughs> Dude. Oh. It's actually quite a bit of solids okay. in this. You should probably strain this. Ah, God, watch out! Oh my God! I got it. <laughs> Done. Uh, I think I've got 
snot bubbles <laughs> come out. We're pouring in, what is this? This stripping run? Yep. And we're gonna pour it into the still. And why are we wearing run. the nose clamps? So that we don't smell it. The next is we're gonna run <laughs> and, into the still again. And? And we're gonna get our hearts cut. Yes, with the what run? Is with the spirit, the spirit run. run. Thank you. What? Oh, no! That's embarrassing for you. Okay, so we're gonna taste the pumpkin pie spirit. It did ferment and it did distill. And we have, what do we have here? 142.3 proof. That's the proof off the still. And then we had Kyle proof it down to just 100 proof and taste that in case that's a little bit too hot to get flavors. Yeah, that's fucking hot, all right. And then uh, he gave us the tails. Because this is where the flavors, if you've been watching, you know that this is where the, the flavors get like funky and weird. Yeah. So we'll see what funky weirdness turns into. This is, uh, it got scorched. There's a bit of a cock up in part of the process. One of the distillations, yeah. there's too many solids floating in there and the solids get too hot, they get burned. And then that burny quality apparently goes nice. into the distillate, it throws off the flavors. So we'll compare that last. Oh, by the way, Daniel is- he's Soft. He's not here. He's on vacation, he's what do you know? Vacation. Oh, he's on he's vacation. He's always on vacation. He is. Okay, Brianna, do you remember, I'm gonna let you pour that one, I'll pour this one. I'll pour two, you pour two. Do you remember what the goal is in these distillation experiments? Distill it to see if we can get the original flavor to come through. Yeah, if we can recognize the like the original essence of that ingredient that yeah. we started with, maybe, possibly, we would find something resembling pumpkin pie. Yeah. So, uh, which one do you want to start with? Low. Okay. I don't want to burn my mouth off. Okay. You know? It's weird. It's it kind smells of detergenty. Yeah, it yeah. smells like, okay. It's like you had dirty dish water. You threw in some detergent, but you still had like that funky, cloudy, gross, weird water. Yeah, yeah, it's like, you know how you asked me about when I worked at Wendy's? Yeah. It's like working in Wendy's in the dishwasher. Okay. But after you've washed all the dishes, they're like leftover water with like some soap, yeah. but also some like processed cheeseburgers. There's some residual <laughs> yeah. foodstuffs. Yeah. Okay, you That's ready? That's not good. No, it's not. It's not there's, I'm trying to imagine, is there kind of like a pumpkin quality? Is there kind of like a spice quality? It's like, eh. I'm not getting it. Some of these we've had uh, a little bit of a sniff there. Yeah. And the taste was totally different. Yeah. So we'll see, you ready? Okay. It tastes better than it smells. It's definitely sweeter on the taste. Yeah. And then what is, yeah, wait, hold on, it's getting better. It's, uh, it's staticky it? a lot. It's very, um, you yeah. know? You know what I mean? Yeah. It threatens you with some sweetness and it's saying, hey, maybe a little bit of pumpkin spice, tasty bits. And then it says, no, f you, have a big old bitter, gross, weird thing. Yeah, I hate it, actually. Maybe the, it doesn't want to be at 100 proof. Maybe it wants to be higher. Okay. It's still the same. Yeah, kind of cleaning uh, producty. It's bad. Let's blame Kyle. Kyle, you suck. You want to try the tails? Because nothing good comes from the tails, but this is already bad, so maybe it comes full circle and it turns into good. Maybe the tails were okay. Now, this is tails. Okay. This smells better. It kind of does. Yeah. Why does this smell better? It smells almost like a, like if you made a homemade pumpkin candle and it okay. wasn't that good. Yeah. Like it wasn't Yankee goes, candle it was poorly made. quality. Yeah. yeah, some janky ass homemade candle. But yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm getting kind of uh, the icing on a pumpkin bread. The tail. Pumpkin bread. Yes. It's got that bread. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Not pumpkin pie. It lost the pie somewhere in the process, but it turned into an icing covered pumpkin bread. Yeah, it's like the crust with like the remnants of the pie left mm -hmm. in it. You want yeah. to taste it? Yeah, let's get in there. Uh. That's bad. That tastes like garbage. You know, that's a good gift. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anybody at your Thanksgiving table that, that you hate? I hate? Happy Thanksgiving, <laughs> <I typically> you <laughs> uh, You want to try the scorched? Maybe that's what it needed. It needed some burnt solids in the distillation process. That makes sense. All right. Oh. Whoa. It's like, okay. If your car mm. ran on pumpkins, you stuff <laughs> pumpkins. <laughs> As your gasoline. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a pumpkin fuel based yes. economy. Yeah. That smells, I so, kind of think that smells fascinating, not delicious, yeah, but that, interesting. It's so much more harsh. I'm not smelling like a smoky, 
burnt character. It's just eh, mean. Yeah. How do I describe it's it? It's mean. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not nail polish. It's kind of like somewhere between nail polish and cleaning product. Mm hmm Ready? Okay. So much. I don't want to do that <laughs> <laughs> oh, One thing that we promised was going to happen yeah. was that before the end of the episode, somebody was going to take a pie to the face. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? I'm eating the pie. Are you? Yep. Are you? Just bring it to my. Are you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You can't turn pumpkin pie into alcohol. At least we can't. We can't do it. There you go. Oh, oh the way that rolls out. <laughs> yeah, hey, let us know what you'd like to see next in the comments. What's the next ingredient you want to see us to still? What's the next ingredient? <laughs> Your face looks hilarious. <laughs> <laughs>what is the whiskey that you would love to get as a Christmas gift? Let's put it in the comments below. And if we get like some, some good Christmas gift ideas, we'll do an episode for you guys. If you like this episode, you'll love the episode where we distill durian fruit. Check it out right here. Also, Rex, it's your birthday. Like, click the like in the thing. Shit. Happy, happy birthday to me. Bye. <laughs>